This is the Mediterranean Ocean that way. Africa would be that way. There's the castle where we explored yesterday. And Portugal is that way. So this is what people saw when they were at the towers here in the times of exploration. They saw deep into the vast Atlantic Ocean, not knowing what was possibly out there. guys day two from Cadiz I'm here with my buddy travel addict guy and the cat man we're gonna continue to explore Cadiz and today we're going to show you the part that you haven't seen on the previous video we're going to go to the the Moraya the big wall we're gonna check out the other cathedral the other beach Playa Santa Maria and we are going to go up a tower or two and see if we can get a good view of the city so join us on day two. Oh yeah we're also gonna go to the market we're gonna go to the market and maybe try some different seafood dishes because there's a lot of seafood there, is that right? Yeah, hi to uh, everyone. We're gonna check out the market today. They have this really cool market in Cadiz. Wow, you would not believe all the fresh fish, guys. Unbelievable, you can get any kind of fish you want. Fresh tuna, all kind of fresh seafood. And then we're gonna head over to that wall, that giant wall that surrounded the city at one time here in Cadiz. All right, Stay so tuned. me and Travel Attic Eye are twins today. We got the <laughs> camouflage masks. You got it, brother. No one can see us, so <laughs> let's see if we can get some secret footage. We're undercover. Undercover <laughs> crew here. All right. So you guys, uh, travel at a guy here. He's lived in Chile. He's lived in Spain for some time. And él habla mucho español, pues. Sí, me gusta español mucho. Viví en Chile más de tres años y aprendí español en Chile. Desde nada, ¿no? Desde cero. Ah, uh, sí. No, no, no entendí casi nada cuando llegó a Chile. Y a mí me aprendí la, la calle, wow. de la gente, sí, de la persona. Y poco a poco me aprendí, pero sí, se cuesta, bueno. se cuesta primero. Le pero, cuesta un poco, pero bueno. Y después mira. Eh, en Barcelona, estuve en Barcelona y ahora en Málaga. Y, y me mira. aprendí español andaluz ahora. Madre mía. <risa> nos, nos encanta español, pues. Sí, a mí me encanta español y me gustaría practicar más. Y ahora vamos a tomar un cafecito. Perfecto, sí, uh -huh. listo. ¿Americano? Por el americano. <risa> <risa> Y... Ah, <laughs> Bye. Muchas gracias. <laughs> she liked that one. All right. So we got the good coffee, guys. Starting the day right. Oh yeah. Cuando venía la camarera, yo dice americano por el americano. Yeah, real. Sí. Porque los americanos a nosotros nos gusta tomar café puro negro como locos. No, yo tengo manchado. Pues eres español italiano, pues. Pero yo soy americano. Me gusta okay. negro. Salud, okay. salud. Son café suave. Para cafecito. día dos, para día dos, vamos pues. Salud con el café. Uh, mm. Qué rico, rico, rico. Oh, yeah. Muy bien. Super buena. Muy Buen bien. Alright, right, you guys, so we have a, a map of Cadiz. We're in the hostel here, summer Cadiz, and we are right here. So yesterday we explored pretty much all this area, mm -hmm. the, two, the two castles right here. Uh, so today we're going to cover this area. So we have the big wall right here. Here's a port that's used modern day and you'll see cruise ships and lots of uh, cargo ships going in and out of there. Um, but we're going to basically explore this part of Casco Antiguo today just to give you guys an idea. All right, you guys, so it's Saturday. So there's more activity picking up here. We're at the market, the central market, and we already have vendors. And so let's go walk inside the market. Let's go check it out, what it looks like inside this famous fish market. Wow, there's a lot of action here, guys, with all these uh, vendors selling all this uh, merchandise. Yeah, we got wow, vendors over all, there. Look at all the action here. Wow, it's, I did not see it like this the other day. There's a lot of people here on the weekend. It's guys. Saturday, it's Saturday. A ton of people out enjoying Let's... the Spanish weather. Woohoo! What's the temperature? Probably 25, 30 Celsius right now. I think it's going to be hot today, Elliot. I'm going to have to go in the ocean later. Let's check it out. Here's the market, you guys. It's big. And there's shop after shop after shop. Let's take a walk through the market. Mercado Central de Abastos, Ayuntamiento de Cadiz. Comidas. Woo! There's this fish market, right? It smells like fish. Wow. 
What do you think? It's amazing. Look at all the people here. Wow, it's like uh, almost before the crisis. It's amazing. Wow, look at these langostinas. Crustaciones. Those are cigalas, they're called. Cigalas. Let's keep going. Let's go this way. Sardines, I think. Choquitos, Lubina. Pescaria. Wow. If you guys like fish, come to this part of the world. Fish, 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 fish. She's scaling the fish there. These are the uh, chocos, the sepia. Chocos. The sepia, that's the cuttlefish there. Okay. Doradas, acerillas. They're clean. They're cleaned afterwards. That's what they wow. look like. Wow. Limpiecito. Chocos limpios. Look at all this protein, you guys. Protein. Look at this. Uh, raw oysters, you guys. Look at this. Fresh oysters from the Atlantic Ocean for 150 a euros. Unbelievable. In America, those are very, very expensive, guys. Fresh like that, you cannot even get them hardly. And they are a high, high price. In places like New York, for example, you're going to pay between five and ten dollars at least for one oyster even. More langostinas, gambones, gambas, langostino. Wow, you guys, all fresh from the Atlantic Ocean and the Mediterranean Sea. Get your seafood. Get your seafood. Woohoo! There's literally so many types of seafood here that I can't, I'm overwhelmed. There's seafood I never knew that existed. Bocas medianas, wow, octopus, fresh octopus. Wow. Oh, look at this big guy. Atun, es atun? Lo mejor atun del mundo, verdad? The best tuna of, well, this part of the world, perhaps. Tuna is huge, you guys. So as you see, the market just is really big. And look at you guys, La Principio 1837, 1837. Look at the uh, columns here, Romanesque. What a good start to this day, you guys. That was an awesome tour of the market. Let's head to the tower next. You can imagine possibly that in historic times, people, all the seafood, all the sailors, all the fishermen would come in from the Mediterranean, from the Atlantic, and that was a big uh, point of sale here. A big business was seafood, of course. And seafood, you can really just live off seafood. I imagine that's one of the reasons life expectancy in Spain is so high because of the omega-3s, all the seafood that you can eat. And it's more affordable than other places in the world. So as you see here in the market, we have these, these columns that are Romanesque architecture. And as I said before, Cadiz is rich in history, the oldest continually inhabited city in Western, in the Western world for that matter. So we have the Phoenicians, the Romans, the Muslims, the Christians, everything in between. And here's evidence. They like to maintain their history. And, uh, and if you would, you know, dig behind, dig under the earth here, you would find lots of artifacts, lots of history. There's plenty of archeological sites here. So the history is very rich. Okay, you guys, so you see these fruits here. You see bananas, you see all these citrus fruits. And part of the Colombian exchange, when the Spanish explored the New World, they brought their fruits with there. And some of those citrus fruits, bananas, maybe from West Africa, they absolutely thrived in those tropical climates. And in return, the Spanish brought back potatoes, they brought back corn, they brought back other, other cultivable plants. And uh, that's called the Colombian exchange, the exchange in goods, crops. That also included disease and it included slaves. So it's not all a pretty history, you guys, but certainly the Colombian exchange changed the way we perceive food, the way we eat food. What we eat all over the world is different because of that first exploration that happened. One guys, and it's called uh, Caramelos de San Lucar. So I haven't tried this one, and normally they're a sweet melon like a honeydew inside. Something similar, but sometimes they can be a little bit different. Uh huh. So quite interesting. We're gonna try this one later, I think. Right? All right. Uh, Elliot, let's yes. do it. Food vlogging. Let's do, do it. That, guys, I love uh, fresh fruits. 
París es la ciudad más antigua. Sí, sí. Y había más antiguos una es un sí, 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 con paredes grandes. Claro. Bueno, murallas, murallas. Por eso vamos a la muralla que está por ahí en la entrada de la ciudad casi antigua. Puertas de tierra. Por eso acá dice parece tanto cubo porque Cuba también tiene mucho. Sí, sí, sí. Los españoles se fueron ahí y con sus ideas de arquitectura. Eh, los ingenieros construyeron cosas iguales y no solo Habana, pero Santo Domingo. Claro. Sí, Santo Domingo ya está en Cartagena de India. Cartagena en Colombia. En Colombia. Sí, sí, sí. Es parecido acá, digamos. Sí, sí, sí. Está todo Honduras ya. Muy interesante. Pues, ¿cómo te llamas? Mari Carmen. José Antonio. José Antonio. Perdón, ¿por qué, por qué interés por Cádiz? ¿Por qué ustedes tienen interés por Pues. Yo hago viajes en España, yo vivo en Madrid, pero a mí me interesa la cultura, la historia, la gente, el idioma. Entonces quiero saber todo. Tengo mucha curiosidad. Así que bueno, y me gusta tu camiseta de Cádiz. Está muy antigua, ¿eh? Sí, pero... Esta camiseta tiene 25 años, ¿eh? Madre mía. Claro. Lo te... cuidas muy bien. Claro. Es que yo no, yo no me compro todo el año la camiseta, yo me quedo con la antigua. Sí, sí. Todos caritanas, todos caritanas. Yo he sido... Hija. Tu hija. Sí. Wow. Él es Carmen. La mamá y la hija, sí, qué bonito. Entonces, ¿qué tal la economía aquí con, sin turismo? Hombre, ahora muy mal. Fatal, fatal. Y, fatal, fatal. Y nos vacunamos todo y quién sabe. Lo que pasa es que el gaditano es muy feliz con poca cosa. Sí, sí, sí. Vosotros sois muy, muy felices con poca cosa. Esto es los españoles, ¿sabes? Y eso es una cosa que me encanta de España. Sí. Buen clima. Eh, buen clima, un café, café, una cerveza, la playa y ya está. Y la playa, y la playa ya está. Sí. Bueno, familiar. Muy, familiar, muy, muy familiar. Nada, un placer. No, gracias, gracias por tus consejos, tu información. Igualmente, y nos venga. vemos. Y que venga mucha gente acá. ¿sí? Gracias por venir. Gracias por venir. Sin problema, no hay problema. Okay guys, we've arrived to the Plaza de la Catedral and it's for obvious reasons you're going to see in a second here just the size of this cathedral here in this plaza. Look it out. Everyone is on the terrace enjoying their life but check out the sheer size of this cathedral. It is massive. The camera does not do it justice. And then we have another iglesia this way it looks like. And again you see the repeating color scheme of these Andalusian cities. And you'll, if you go to these colonial cities like Cartagena, Colombia, Havana, Cuba, all these, all these uh, Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic, you'll see very similar architecture, especially in the old towns in that part of the world. It's just amazing how the Spaniards were able to bring all their, all their uh, architecture with them and build stuff with materials in that part of the world. They had to ship everything back and forth and it was not an easy feat. You just got more of these quiet, narrow streets. They're just so fun to walk through. There's always nice shade and a nice breeze coming out the ocean. So although Andalusia is a very, very hot region in Spain and probably the hottest region in all of Europe, um, it's very easy to escape the, the heat if you live near the ocean or if you have good shade. And also that's tied in with the idea of the siesta at the hottest hour of the day. You finish eating lunch with your friends, with your family, and then you go enjoy some shade, enjoy some relaxation. All right, you guys, we're in the Plaza de las Flores. And again, more great taco life going on here. And we have lots of people selling things, lots of shops. People are getting ready to sell things. And very nice weather. Cadiz is bustling here on Saturday. The first Saturday since travel has reopened within the regional communities of Spain, the uh, autonomous communities. And people are taking to the streets to enjoy themselves and wonder, I wonder why it's called Plaza de las Flores. Check it out. Lots of flowers here. Interesting. All right, you guys, we're gonna go up this Torre Tavira, which is pretty old. It's from the 18th century, it looks like. So let's go check it out. We're gonna go up this. And you see there's a lot of towers here in Cadiz. All right, guys. We're climbing the tower. Si, a mi me encanta. Es otro ambiente. Si, yo tengo que conocer más al María. All right, so we're halfway up the tower and here's already the first view of the city with the port being that way. 
Let's check it out from the other side. Wow, look at the ocean out there. This is what Cadiz looks like from above. So as I've, as I've mentioned, we have the Port of Cadiz here, and the Port of Cadiz was strategically situated between the Atlantic and Mediterranean, one of the most important in the 18th century due to trading with North and South America and the Philippines. All right, so you guys, we're at the top of the tower, and just look at the view of the city. You can see this is the Mediterranean Ocean that way. Africa would be that way. There's the castle where we explored yesterday. And Portugal is that way. So this is what people saw when they were at the towers here in the times of exploration. They saw deep into the vast Atlantic Ocean not knowing what was possibly out there. Some people thought that you might actually fall off the face of the earth. And there was more than one purpose for these towers, but one of the main purposes was to spot merchant ships coming through so they could receive goods and send goods off. But it was also to spot invasive ships from England, from France, from Portugal, perhaps from the eastern side of the Mediterranean Ocean. And that was so that they could warn people in the castle to get ready to defend the city. And as you see, we're in the old historic center. This is all a walled off city and it's all old. And just look at the buildings from up top. This is just incredible to see. And as you guys see there in the distance, that is now the port of Cadiz where you have modern day merchant ships coming through, but also you have cruise ships. There's lots of cruise ships that are repaired here. Sometimes cruise ships come from all the way down in the Caribbean Ocean and they come all the way up here to the Atlantic and the Mediterranean Ocean. They dock, allow the tourists to stop, but they also do repairs here. And just look at the vastness of this city. Although it looks very small on the map, it does not look small from this point of view. It is quite incredible. All right, you guys, we're approaching Plaza de España here. Look at the continuation of these really old, impressive buildings. And we have the monument of the Constitution of 1812. One of the oldest constitutions ever signed right here. Let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. Behind me is the monument that represents the first Spanish constitution, the year of 1812. And before the year of 1808, Spanish had been ruled as an absolute monarchy with King Ferdinand. And then France had invaded Spain and got all the way to Madrid. So the people of Spain kept retreating further south and south that they got to Sevilla. And they still weren't safe there, so they had to come all the way to Cadiz, which was an island at the time. And it was a fortified fortress, as you've seen in previous parts of this video. And it was here that they signed the first constitution, absolutely changing the trajectory of the history moving forward en route to what would later become a democracy in the Kingdom of Spain. But just check it out, this is a big ass structure and it's quite historical in nature. What a sight. All right, you guys, we're getting close to the Muralla de Puerta de la Tierra. And look at everybody's out enjoying their terrace meals. Cadiz is alive. Wow, just look at all the people eating here, you guys. The return of travel, the return of tourism. What a sight, you guys. This is amazing. Look at how many people are out eating. Let's see if the Spanish economy and the European economy can become revived here. Summer 2021 is going to be pivotal. I wonder where all these people are from. Look, we have a nice guitarist behind us. I wonder, I wonder if the majority of these people are from here in Spain. So far I've met people from Almeria, other parts of Andalusia. Northern Spain, Madrid of course. Where is everybody from? All right, so I'm gonna get to the wall up here. I wanna show you guys the Muralla, the big wall that fortified the city. All right, you guys, what you see behind me is La Muralla de la, de la Puerta de las Tierras which is basically the massive structure, the wall, the gate that prevented invaders, especially the French from the north in mainland Spain, to get into the fortified city of Cadiz. Just look at the massive structure. It's gigantic, it's enormous. And wow, just 
how did people construct this back in the 18th, 17th, 16th century? It's beyond me. You just have to marvel in the fact that they were able to do this and that if it wasn't for this wall, perhaps Spain would be entirely different today. Okay, you guys, so we have entered the new part of Cadiz. We passed through La Muralla and we're gonna head down to what's called Playa Santa Maria. It's a nice beach and there's some decent side waves. I'm gonna see if I can body surf a little bit. Santa and Maria. So interestingly Mi enough, bonita. <laughs> Santa Maria, Santa Maria is, I think, named after one of the ships they use, Christopher Columbus used, named by Juan de la Cosa a person from Santonia, Northern Spain. I've been there in the community of Santiago. Well, anyways, one of the ships was uh, named Juan Santa Maria, or Santa Maria, and they used that to explore the new world. Well, check this out. You can see like some remains of the Mariah there. Look at that, wow. Yeah. That is amazing, guys. Look at that, wow. And you see old Cadiz in the background there. It almost looks like Middle Eastern with the cathedral there, like, like there's like a mosque or something hey, in the check future. out my new shirt, guys. Cadiz, woohoo. Yeah, resident of Cadiz now. He's moving from Malaga to Cadiz. He's a bandwagoner. They call us uh, bandwagoner. Caritanos, right? Caritanos? <laughs> Garitanos. 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 Okay, vale. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're at this beach, Playa Santa Maria. The sand is hot. Summer is coming. Yeah. Catman and I are going to get in the water. Let's go. Although cats don't like water, but. <laughs> yeah, I go halfway. <laughs> All right. Let's go, guys. First time in the ocean, woohoo! Well, second time, I jumped off the bridge yesterday. All right, guys, we're, whoa, it's cold, man, but look at this beachfront. Wow, Playa Santa Maria, Cadiz. I've been here once before, last October 2020, but it's now 2021, post-pandemic, and the water is nippy, you guys, it's cold. Holy shit, it's cold. Frio, Frio. It wasn't this cold when I jumped off the bridge yesterday. Oh my god, I don't know if I can go in. Woo! Let it go, Kat! <laughs> Alright, it's not so bad, everybody. Woo! Let's go see what the water looks like. Here we go. Whoa! Wow! Wow, check this wave out. Let's ride it. Woohoo! All right, guys, big wave coming. Let's see what the water looks like underneath. How does it look? He's getting there, Catman's getting there. Surfing! <laughs> Yeehaw! There you go, there you go. You're almost wet. <laughs> Atlantic Ocean. Caddy Spain, you guys. Woohoo! Well, you guys, the water is really, really cold at first. Almost like Lake Superior, it felt, you know, it's the Atlantic Ocean, so the sea is a lot bigger. And, uh, but after you get in, it feels really refreshing. So I'm gonna go swim more without the camera and, and ride those waves in like I'm body surfing. So that was the uh, experience in Playa Santa Maria here in Cadiz. What a scene, you guys, what a scene. And the continuation of the fortified city of Cadiz. You can see the muralla, muralla, the end of the old wall, and here the continuation of the fortified wall that completely envelops the rest of the old town. Cadiz is pretty big, it's small on a map, but when you see it in person, it's bigger than you think.